Okay. Okay, vamos a comenzar ya. Okay, welcome to your English class. Today we are going to have the last practice of simple present, present progressive, and simple past. Today is December 12th, 2020. If you see, we have the simple present, present progressive, and simple past. For example, I have three verbs. The first one is invite, invitar, write, escribir, sweep, barrer. In the case of simple present, eso solamente es un review nada más, solo es un repaso. In the case of the, of the simple present, we have, for example, I invite you to my house. I invite you to my house. Yo te invito a mi casa. Presente simple, yo te invito a mi casa. I invite you to my house. Present progressive is different. We need to add ing. Remember, when we are talking about present progressive, the bear, we need to add ing. For example, I'm inviting you to my party. I'm inviting you to my party. Yo te estoy invitando a mi fiesta. In the case of the simple past, it's easy because you say, I invited you to my party. I invited you to my party. Yo te invité a mi fiesta. Observe cómo se conjugan. Observe cómo se conjugan los verbos. En presente se mantiene igual, invite. En presente progresivo se le agrega ing, inviting. Y en el pasado solamente se pone el verbo en pasado, en este caso, como es un verbo regular, solamente se le agrega y D. Vamos con el ejemplo de write. Leo writes a letter. Leo is writing a letter. Leo wrote a letter. Simple present writes. ¿Por qué? En este caso, Leo viene siendo tercera persona y recuerde que los verbos en tercera persona, he, she, it, se les agrega es en el presente simple. En el presente simple, perdón. Leo escribe una carta. Leo writes a letter. Present progressive, se le agrega ing al verbo. Leo is writing a letter. Leo está escribiendo una carta. Leo está, Leo is. Leo está escribiendo una carta. En the case of the simple past, Leo wrote. El pasado de escribir, o sea, write, el pasado de write es wrote. Escribió una carta. Leo wrote a letter. Veamos ahora el ejemplo con sweep, barrer. Luis sweeps the hall. Luis sweeps the hall. Luis barre el pasillo. Luis barre el pasillo. Let's see the present progressive. Luis is sweeping the hall. Luis is sweeping the hall. Luis está, ahí, se, ahí me se me olvidó, Luis sweeping. Luis está barriendo el pasillo. El pasado de sweep es swept. Ah, o sea, teacher, que es un verbo irregular. Entonces, sí, porque cambia su estructura totalmente. A diferencia de invite, que solo le agrego ed, en el caso de wrote y swept, sí cambia su estructura cuando lo paso a pasado. Luis swept. Luis swept. Swept the hole. Luis barrió el pasillo. Look at this. I have three verbs. Aquí termino ya este tema de los tres tiempos. Look, draw, fight. Look es observar, draw, dibujar, y fight, pelear. 
Por ejemplo, ¿quién me podría decir una oración en simple present utilizando el verbo look? He looks beautiful. Excuse me? She looks your he husband. Looks, he looks your husband. He looks your husband. He looks your husband. Él observa a tu esposo. ¿Cuál sería el presente progresivo? He's looking your husband. He is looking your husband. Él está observando a tu esposo. ¿Cuál sería el pasado? He looked your husband. He looked your husband. Él observó a tu esposo. Observemos el verbo draw. Draw. Dibujar. Una oración en simple present. ¿cuál, ¿Cómo podría ser? He... I draw a flower. I draw and flowers. I draw a flower. Yo dibujo una flor. I draw a flower. ¿Cómo sería el presente progresivo? I, yes. I am. I am. I am drawing. Drawing a flower. Uh -huh. a, a flower. I am drawing a flower. Yo estoy dibujando una flor. ¿Cuál sería el pasado de draw? I, I drew a flower. I drew a flower. I drew a flower. Yo dibujé una flor. Veamos el ejemplo de fight, pelear. ¿Cómo sería en simple present? Conjuguémoslos, conjuguémoslo en presente simple. I fight with my brother. Yo peleo con mi hermano. Perfecto. I fight with my brother. Yo peleo con mi hermano. ¿Cómo sería conjugarlo en presente progresivo? I fight. I am fighting with my brother. I am fighting. I am fighting with my brother. Yo estoy peleando con mi hermano. ¿Y cómo lo podríamos conjugar en pasado simple? Yo peleé con mi hermano. ¿Cuál es el I pasado have... de fight? Uh... Fault. So, the answer is I fought with my brother. I fought with my brother. I fought with my brother. Yo peleé con mi hermano. Ok, a estas alturas lo importante es que usted sepa conjugar. Lo importante es que usted sepa conjugar los verbos en presente simple, en presente progresivo y en pasado. Porque ya después vamos a comenzar adelante a ver un poquito de, de otro tipo de, de tiempos que son un poquito... No quiero decir complicados porque entonces ustedes ya se van, ya, ya se van a empezar a salir de, ah, son más difíciles. No, pero me debe usted manejar el simple present, el present progressive y el simple past se le va a hacer mucho más fácil. ¿Alguna pregunta de este tema para ya poder cerrar? Any question about the topic? Or oh, everything is clear like horchata? Yes? Any question? No? Okay, perfect. Yes. yes. Una question. And what is the meaning of the fight and beat? The fight and? Beat, golpear. Ah, beat. Por ejemplo, fight es pelear. Y beat es cuando botas el golpe. El golpe. Con la mano, Solo el golpe, lo... beat. Y el golpe. El golpe, por ejemplo, va, está también knock. Está, va, está beat, knock y fight. Yo te voy a decir, I fight with my brother. Yo peleo con mi hermano. I fight with my brother. I knock. Yo golpeo. I knock the door. Yo golpeo la puerta. O sea, estoy tocando la puerta. Abran. I knock the door. Estoy tocando la puerta. Abran. Y beat se utiliza para la música. Cuando si, hey, escuchas el beat. Como escuchas el sonido, el golpe que da el sonido. No sé si me doy a entender. Sí. sí. Sí, son tres cosas eh, distintas, pero como que fueran iguales, ¿verdad? Pero no, de, es dependiendo del contexto. Te lo repito. Fight es cuando peleas con una persona. Knock es golpear también, solo que es cuando 
I knock the door. Yo golpeo la puerta, estoy afuera, ábranme. I'm knocking the door, estoy golpeando la puerta. Y beat se utiliza en la música cuando decís, hey, escuchas el beat, o sea, el sonido, el boom, boom, que hace, el golpe que hace, ya escuchaste. ¿Ok? Any yes. question? Another yes. question? No more? Ok, let's continue now. Look at this. Describing objects. Todos activen su cámara y me quedo con el último. Five, four, three, two, and the last one. Okay, Rosemary, hello, are you there? Hello, Rosemary. What is yeah. Rosemary? Okay. Uh, your audio is okay, yes? No, se te escucha así como suavecito. Se te escucha bien, pero suave. Tal vez si te acercas un poquito al micrófono. Ahí, ahí. Perfecto. Ok. okay. Lo, que vamos, lo que van a hacer cada uno de ustedes es lo siguiente. A cada uno de ustedes yo les tengo una fotografía. Y lo que usted va a hacer en este caso, lo que usted va a hacer con la, con la, fotografía, con la fotografía es describirla. ¿Qué observa usted de la foto? Les voy a dar mi ejemplo. En este caso, Rosemary sería la primera. Ok, the first example is, uh, we have a house. I see a house, a big house. It's a beautiful house. Uh, I like that house. I like it. I like the colors. I see yellow, dark red white the walls are white uh the house has many windows one two doors the house has a chimney i like the house the house is very big and for me it's a very very beautiful house eso es lo que usted va a hacer describir la foto que yo le ponga. Ok, Rosemary, tú eres la primera, de ahí tú vas a elegir la siguiente persona. Ok, Rosemary, this is your picture. Dolls. Can you describe the picture, please? I see uh, five dolls. Mm, a beautiful princess. And... For example, Rosemary, do you have they... dolls? Do you have dolls? No, no, I don't have. Why? But do you like dolls? Actually, do you like dolls? Uh, no. <laughs> no, why? I hardly. I use car. <laughs> what do you prefer, dolls or Barbies? I... None. What do you prefer, to have a doll or to have a Barbie? To have a uh, many dolls. Okay. Many. Can you be okay? Uh, I have I have a doll. Uh, we have five dolls, right? Which is your favorite? The first one, the second, the third, the fourth one, or the fifth one? Uh, the second. The second. The doll in. Purple. Yeah. Why? Uh, I like she, his hair. In okay, dress. her hair. Mm. What about the What about the third one, the lady in red? What about the red The red one. Do you like the red one? No, I don't like it. Why? Mm, I don't like red hair. Ah, okay. Because you are blonde. You are a blondie girl, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, do you like the styles? For example, the dresses? Mm, yes. Why? Um, 
I think it's beautiful. Uh -huh. I like this. Hey, Rosemary, when you were a child, cuando tú eras una niña, when you were a child, uh, were you play with dolls? ¿Jugabas con muñecas? Yeah. What do you prefer, dolls or cars? <laughs> or robots? I prefer dolls. Dolls. When you were a child, what was yeah. your favorite toy when you were a child? What was your favorite toy? I have a, a big, a big bear. Ah, okay. A teddy bear? Yeah. And, a teddy bear and, uh -huh. uh, and a doll, a stitch. Ah, okay. ah, really? Hey, who gave you the teddy yeah. bear? Was a present? A gift? Yeah, a present for my grandma. Ah, for, from your grandma, for your birthday or for Christmas? For my, for my, uh, I think, I don't remember. You don't remember? Ah, okay, thank you. No. Okay, it, it's perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rosemary. Can you please choose one student? I choose some. Uh... Quickly. Danny? Okay, Danny Orellana. Thank you, Rosemary. Can you please turn off your audio? Hello, Danny. Hi, teacher. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, your picture is this one. Candies. Okay, can you describe the picture? Mm. Um, the picture have mm, many colors. Um, um, I see a, uh, uh, ¿cómo es que se decía paleta? Lollipop. Ah, lollipop. And marshmallow. Uh -huh. um, one of the lollipop uh, is color orange. Uh -huh. And actually I don't like lollipop. Lollipops. Me too. I don't like lollipops. Danny, what do you <laughs> prefer? Uh, candies or chocolate? Mm, chocolate. Chocolate. With milk or just yeah. chocolate? Mm, both. Both. Okay. Uh, Danny, when you have a party or, for example, when your parents, it's, when your parents celebrate your birthday, do they mm -hmm. buy candies for your party? Yes, yes, I have. Because you like, which is your favorite candy? Mm -hmm. Um, my favorite candy is mm, Hershey's. Oh, the Hershey. Okay, okay, perfect. Yeah. Hey, what do you think? Candies are good for kids or bad for kids? Mm, bad. Why? Because it. If you, eat, if, you your... eat, if you eat a lot of candies, you can go to the dentist, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes. How many, how many times do you go to the dentist? Um, mm, once, a month? once a year, a month. A month. Once a month. Once a month. Okay. Can you please say another describing, for example, for the picture? Another character. Um, I don't know what is the um, los los circulitos. No, no sé qué son esos circulitos. I see. I'm not. I'm not sure, but maybe they are M M. Uh huh. Yes, I'm not yes, sure. I look think. at look at the lollipop. What kind of flavor? Mm -hmm. What kind of flavor is it? The lollipop, the yellow one. What kind of flavor? Sabor. What kind of flavor is mm. uh, Cherry, orange, lemon. Lemon. <laughs> lemon. Excuse me? Lemon. 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 Hey, what is your favorite lollipop? Or which is your favorite mm. flavor? I don't have. You don't have favorite? I, no, 
I don't have. Why? Mm, because I don't eat lollipops. Ah, you don't eat a lollipop. Okay, thank you so much, Danny. Thank no. you. Thank you for your participation. Can you please choose another student? Mm, Katie. Okay, Katie. Thank you, Danny. Hello, Katie. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Are you ready? Yes. Are you nervous? Yes. Okay, don't worry. Aquí todos estamos aprendiendo. Okay, your picture... <laughs> Your picture is this one. Oh my God, donuts. donuts. Can you describe the picture? Mm -hmm. Night and donuts. Um, any colors. Um, you say nine or eight donuts. I Because I count eight. One, two, three, eight. four, five, eight. six. Yes, we have eight. Okay, perfect. Go ahead, continue. Yes. Donuts and... Como diferentes, como puedes decir, diferentes colors. Different? Different colors. Okay. And Which one? Mentioned. Mention the colors. One and... Um, white and purple. Uh-huh. Uh, red... We have red, pink, light blue, purple. Blue and, blue and, blue and pink. Uh-huh. Purple, purple and... Uh, como, celeste? Light blue. Light blue, orange and green, yellow and blue, pink and any colors. Okay, perfect. We have many, many colors, right? Hey, Katie, how often do you eat donuts? For example, in my case, I like donuts, but I only eat with, I only eat on September with the promotion of okay. Mr. Donuts. In your case, how often do you eat? Never, sometimes, always, or just um, on December? Always, always, and um, see, always. Always. Really? Do you like donuts? Yes. Which is your favorite? For example, my favorite donut is just the chocolate donut. My um, favorite donut is a sugar. The, the sugar, really? Oh, the sugar, okay. the sugar yes. donut. Okay. Uh, what do you prefer? A donut or a bar of chocolate? Donuts. Prefer donuts. Donuts. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, I different um, sabores. Flavors. I different flavors and I like. And just like it. With coffee, with milk, with coffee, with milk, or with soda. With coffee. With coffee. So, Katie, do you uh, like coffee? Me, uh, ¿cómo se dice poco? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So, what do you prefer, a Starbucks or coffee cup? And Starbucks. Why? For me, Starbucks is okay, but it's more expensive. Es más caro. Uh, sí. But mm. it, so, so you prefer a Starbucks, right? Why? Um, coffee, coffee and, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, como ven diferentes tipos. Y... They have different kind of coffees? And, and different kind of coffee and... For example, do you prefer the mochaccino or a latte or a venti? Venti is the size, I think. What do you prefer, a latte, a mocha? A mocha. A mocha. Why? Yeah. Why do you prefer that? It's just delicious? Yes. Okay, don't, no tengan miedo de... Permítame un minuto.
Perdón, perdón, chicos. Okay, thank you, Katie. Thank you for your time. Please choose one student. Um, Quickly. Who? Franklin. Okay, Franklin. Hello. Thank you, Katie. Hello. Miren, no tengan miedo de hablar. Este, exprese, o sea, como puedan. Lo importante es que vayan perdiendo el miedo de hablar. O sea, hay palabras que ustedes ya las manejan. Y yo sé que creo que se les olvida, por ejemplo, decir porque me gusta, porque es delicioso, porque me gustan los colores. O sea, lo importante es que no se quede callado. Y por favor, esto en general, esto en general, no me diga yes, no. O sea, dígame yes, because, bla, bla, bla. O me diga no, porque eso y lo otro. O sea, dígame razones. No solo me diga yes, no, que esa no es una respuesta. Pero como digo, esto es en general. Ok, yo sé que estamos un poquito nerviosos. Vamos con la siguiente. Franklin, are you ready? Oh my. Con esa, con esa energía que te caracteriza, hijo, excelente. Are you nervous? No. No. Okay. No. This is your picture. Despertemos, Franklin. Okay. This is your picture. We have a park. Okay. Describe it. I see a park Columbia. Uh, <laughs> Columbia in English? How, excuse me? No, pardon For example, do you think the park is big or is it small? It's big. It's big. Okay. Do you like yes. the park? Mm, yes. Do you, yes, what? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. Hey, Franklin, do you have a park near to your house? Cerca de tu casa? Do you have a park? No. Excuse me? No, we don't. No. No. Repeat. I don't have a park. Uh, repeat. No. Repeat. Repeat after Re me. Ah. I don't have a park. I don't have a park. Okay, now I'm going to ask you again. Do you have a park near to your house? No. No what? Repeat. Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't have. Oh, no, I don't. Otra vez. Franklin, do you have a park near to your house? No, I don't. Okay, perfect. So continue. Can you describe the park, for example? We have a grass, we have a swing, a toboggan. Hey, Franklin, no. when you were a child, cuando tú eras un niño, when you were a child, how often, how often do you go to the park? Never, sometimes. Sometimes. Just, sometimes, for example, on Saturdays or Sundays afternoon, in bueno, era como one day in the weekend. One day in the weekend. Oh, okay, perfect. Now, as an adult, ahora como adulto, as an adult, how often do you go to the park? Never. Never. Why? Uh, I don't like. You don't like. Okay, you don't like. Uh, what do you like now? ¿Qué te gusta ahora? What do you like now? Go to the cinema, go to the mall, stay at home. What do you like to now? What do you like to do now? For example, in my case, Franklin, I love to go to the park. I have a park near to my house. It's, in, it's literally in front of my house. So now, what do you like to do? ¿Qué te gusta hacer now, ahora? Motocross. Motocross. Can you really can you ride a motorcycle? Uh, can you can can you can you ride a motorcycle? No lo entendí. O sea, puedes andar en moto, sí, verdad? Yes. Ah, oh, okay, perfect. Can you say just one more thing about the picture? Solo algo más acerca de la foto y te dejo tranquilo. 
Just please, one more. One more example, one more detail. ¿Cómo así, más o menos? No sé, o sea, algo que vos me digas, algo para yo dejarte tranquilo, algo más que me puedas decir de la foto. El día está soleado. ¿En In inglés? How do you say soleado? Sunny. Sunny. ¿Y cómo sería sunny. el día está soleado? The day is sunny. The day is sunny. ¿Cómo, sunny. Sería, ¿Cómo sería en la foto el día está soleado? The pictures... Eh... En la foto el día está soleado. In the picture... In the picture... Yes, hello, Franklin. In the picture, the day is sunny. <ríe> Franklin, te dejo el micrófono activado, pero no, no te escucho nada. Este, no se preocupen, este ejercicio lo tengo que seguir practicando porque se supone que el objetivo de ustedes es que hablen inglés, ahí estamos Franklin, no sé qué te pasó con el audio, déjame ver permitime, permitime no tengo a Franklin acá, no sé si fue el internet, quiero pensar que fue el internet, ok como no tengo a Franklin aquí ahorita no tengo audio de él ahorita any volunteer for the next picture any volunteer Sofía, yo. ok, Sofía Campos this is your picture an ocean, a beautiful ocean. Yes. <laughs> Can you describe the picture? Fish uh, or not fish? Excuse it's me? Yes, just, yes, we have just fish. I can see flowers, but okay. I don't know flowers. Yes, okay. I can see rocks. Uh -huh. Water and any fish. Many fish, many, 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 muchos. Many fish, the different colors. I think there is there, there, there is a Nemo. There is a Nemo there. Blue, white, black. Uh -huh. Hey, and... Sophie, do you like fish? No. Why? I don't see beautiful and I don't interesting. They are, uh, uh, are they common animals for you? Yes. Which is your favorite animal? Dog. The dog, why? It's a funny. It's a funny animal. Beauty and sweet. Hey, do you think dogs are important for people yes for example no. i have i have a dog you know i have a dog for me my dog is like my son it's a part of my family so i como se dice yo trato i try i try yes yeah. i tried my dog with my son like a song okay like it's, like okay. son uh -huh. and, and my dog eh, he like uh -huh. I no sé cómo se dice chimier <laughs> hold hold sostener oh. hold and kisses oh yeah. really is your dog yeah. important in your life Sophie yes very Why? very important I go to my to house out. Oh. I I think always in mom and and in moment always in my dog because I stay my sister and my mom. Ah, but okay. She's. ¿Cómo se dice cuidar? Take care. She take care, but always think. 
like stay here. Ah, okay. Is your dog is a boy or a girl? It's a girl. It's a girl. What's your your is Luna? Luna. Yes. Like a moon. How old is Luna? For example, Teodoro is for well, this this coming April, he's turning four years old. How old is your dog? How old is Luna? I know he's in February. Uh huh. Uh, I he has she has. Say so say she or it. Ella va a cumplir. She's turning. Se okay. dice turning. She, she has two years. She's two and years. Has, okay. Uh, ¿Cómo me dijo que se decía cumplir? Turning. Es, va a cumplir. Turning. In next year, turning in three years. Ah, three years old. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you so much. Please, can you choose another student? Uh, Eliezer. Eliezer. Thank you, Sophie. Welcome, Eliezer. How are you? Hi, teacher. Are you ready? Um, so so. Are you nervous? Um, so so. So so, a little bit. Okay, this is your picture. Oh, easy, facile. Can you describe the picture? Mm, the picture, um, a uh, different students and uh, one teacher. Uh, the boys read books. Uh -huh. um, For example, what kind of teacher is, is she? An English teacher, a science teacher, a history teacher? How does it look like? Como luce ella? English teacher. An English teacher, why? Uh, uh, I don't know how to describe the teacher. You don't know how to describe the teacher, okay. Can you see the kids? We have four, one, two, three, four. We're at the back, we have more. What do you think are they come from? For example, are they come from Latin, and um, from Latin country or an Asian country? An Asian country. For example, China, Japan, Korean. Yeah, and Japan. They are from Japan. Ellos son de Japón. Maybe, yes, maybe they are from, from Japan. So, Eliezer, uh, do you miss the classes? Repeat, please. Do you miss, extrañas, do you miss the classes? Uh, Presential classes? So, so. So, so, what do you prefer? Presential classes or virtual classes? Uh, virtual class. In my case, both. Um, I miss the presential classes because I miss my students. But I like virtual classes because I can stay at home. In your case, what do you prefer virtual classes? Uh... I prefer virtual class because it's uh, more easy. It's easier, uh-huh. Um, I don't use a uniform. You don't need to wear a, a, a uniform, right? Uh-huh. Okay, and uh, for example, when, when we have virtual classes, Eliezer, we can wake up late. For example, I wake up it depends. When I have classes at 8 a.m. for the curso de nivelación, I wake up at 7. At what time do you wake up every day? Uh, at what time do you wake up in the morning? At five, me levanto. Yes, at 5 a.m., at 6 a.m., um, 7.30. Uh, I wake up in... 7 a.m. 7 a.m. And what is the first thing you do? In the first thing, I wash my face and brush my teeth. Brush your face and brush your teeth. Thank you so much, Eliezer. Thank you. 
A really nice participation. Can you please choose another student? Um, Doris. Okay, teacher Doris. Thank you, Eliezer. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. This is your picture, teacher Doris. This is your picture. People at the cinema. Okay, go ahead. In the picture, I can see many people and I can see a man who vestir, New York, Rock is vestir, no? Wear, uh huh. Ah, wear. Wear. The shirt is color yellow. No, uh huh. And I, I can see a, two women and your hair is yellow. Her, her hair is blonde. Her? Ah, oh, sí, es cierto. Her. Her hair is, is yellow. O blonde, rubia, blonde. Oh, blonde. And I can see other woman who drank a drinking? soda. Who is drinking? Drinking. Who is drinking a soda. In uh -huh. they I no, uh, is are watching a movie. A movie. What kind of movie do you think are they watching? Comedy, <laughs> scary movies, action movies, romantic movies. Look at the face. Look at the faces. Uh, I know. ¿Cómo se dice? Yo creo. I think. Yo, uh, yo pienso. Uh, okay. I think they are watching a comedy movie. A may, okay, maybe, right? A comedy movie. In your case, Doris, uh, which is your favorite kind of movies? Mm, I prefer a movie about terror. About, oh, okay. So do you like action movies? Yes, but, uh, but I prefer watch Netflix. Netflix, me too. Uh, sometimes I like to go where, now I'm not sure if the cinema is open, but in my case, I prefer now watching mm -hmm. uh, movies on Netflix. Do you have Netflix, Doris? Yes. yes how, many, how many hours, horas, how many hours do you watch Netflix? Um, five hours. I watch um, Netflix um, sometimes the Sunday, maybe. Hey, do you like the new series, Selena? The new series? Yes, I like. <laughs> yes, me too. I like it. It's, it's totally different with the movie, right? Yes, I it's don't story. like the story. What do you prefer? The actually actress or Jennifer Lopez actress? I prefer the movie and with Jennifer Lopez. Yes. Yes, me too. For me, it's, it's better. Well, well, it depends on the people, right? Thank you, Doris. Congratulations. Okay. Can you please choose one student? Gracias. Uh, Belen. Okay, Belen. Hello, princess. Are you ready? Sí. Sí. Ustedes mm. pensaron que yo no los iba a agarrar así ahora y mañana traigo más fotos. Porque, qué chivo, no pasé, porque ya casi voy a terminar. No pasé, pues los que no pasen hoy, no, pasamos mañana y los que pasaron hoy, pues igual, vuelven a pasar mañana. Lo que me interesa es que hablemos y no tengan miedo, que lo importante es que aquí nadie se va a reír, nadie lo va a regañar, aquí todos aprendemos. Ok, Belén, this is your picture. Shopping, shopping, shopping. Please, Belén, go ahead. I see... Uh... I see three girls. Uh -huh. I see bags, different colors. With different colors. And what all do the you women say? sombreros and it, eso te iba a decir. all the women are wearing a hat. A hat. hat. This is purple, mm. this is blue, and this is white. Yes. 
Uh -huh. Hey, do you like to do you like do you like to go shopping, Belen? A little bit. A little bit. I Me prefer too. quedarme stay en casa. At, stay at home. Stay at home. So, for example, for this coming Christmas, are you going to buy or are you going to do shopping? Mm, Podría arrepentírmelo, por favor. For this coming Christmas, for Christmas, are you going to buy or, or are you going to do shopping? Me está preguntando si voy a comprar. Yes. Yes, perfect. Are you going to buy or are you going to do shopping for Christmas? No. Uh, es las compras las de mi mamá, así que no. So, my mom do or my mom does the shopping? My mom does the Okay, shopping. your mom does the shopping. Okay. Uh, Belén, acuérdate que lo que yo quiero es que, que inventen, no necesito que me digan la realidad. Belen, which is your favorite mall? Your mall. favorite mall, yes. Which is your mall? Mall, for example, uh, Multiplaza, Plaza Merliot, is solamente por mencionar así. Which is your favorite? Acuérdate que quiero que me inventen, no me tienen que decir la realidad. Which is your my, favorite mall? My favorite mall is Place Santa Elena. Okay, the place is Santa Elena. Ah, okay. So, is big or is or is small? Um, is a little bit. <laughs> okay, is is a, a little bit small. Okay, Belen, what do you prefer to buy, comprar? What do you prefer to buy shoes or to buy food? Uh, I prefer buy shoes to buy shoes how many cuantos how many pairs of shoes do you have inventar no, no eight. eight pair of shoes wow many shoes so what do you prefer to to buy uh sneakers or sandals uh i don't like too much you don't like too much Yes. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you, Belen. Can you please choose one student? Uh, Eileen. Okay, Eileen. Thank you, Belen. Okay, Eileen. Hello, welcome. Hi. Are you ready? Yes. Are you nervous? Mm, no. No. Okay, this is your picture. Birthday party. Describe the picture. Okay. Um, there is a girl who is burning. How do you say cumpliendo año? In her birthday, <laughs> or just okay. having a birthday, or my uh, birthday party, or she's in her birthday. <laughs> okay. Uh, a girl who is in her birthday, and she is, how do you say so flat? <laughs> Blows <laughs> and she's blowing the the cake. Or hey, uh, uh, do you like? Do, do you celebrate your birthday? Yes. I How? Do. How do you celebrate? Mm, I don't like parties, but I go for to a restaurant with my friends and my family. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just go to the restaurant. Okay, hey, which is your favorite uh, flavor of cake? Chocolate. Chocolate, I, why? Uh, I don't know. It's like, I don't like the sweet chocolate. It's like bitter sweet chocolate. Okay. Yeah, hey, I like, uh, for example, I don't like the white chocolate. I don't know why, but I don't like the white chocolate. I prefer dark chocolate. Yes, and I don't know why people call white chocolate because it is condensed milk with Yes, sugar. it's too much. It's too much. It's sweet. Yes. Too much sweet. And for example, uh, do you like to receive presents? Yes. Obviously, right? Yes. 
Can you remember what was the biggest or the amazing present that you received from someone else? Mm. If you want, you can invent, if you want. Okay. Well, I was seven when my parents gave me a kitchen because I like to have kitchen toys and they gave me a of course, a kitchen. Uh huh. And it was, I was happy that time because it was like something I wish I had, but I didn't have. And they gave me that. Okay. And I screamed. <laughs> okay. And the last question What was the most, how can I say, um, representative gift? that you receive from someone else. I'm not talking about money. Uh, no estoy hablando del precio, sino que como el, the most representative gift that you say, oh my, it's a little bit, but I like it because my grandparents gave it to me, etc., etc. What was it? Uh, it's like, how do you, it's musical box or how do you call una caja musical? How do you call what? Se te escuchó? How do you, no, no, se te escucha cortado, hija. Uh, caja musical. Ah, music box. Uh, uh, my mom gave me a music box uh, when I was 10, and I think it's the most representative. Okay. Yeah. Do you have uh, it now? Do you have it now? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, thank you, Eileen. Thank you. Can you please choose? Let me see. I, I'm, I'm not sure if we have more... No, yo creo que ya, ya, ya terminé acá. Ah, yes. Voy con la presentación de usted. Thank you, Aileen. Ok. Apaguemos cámaras. Five, four, three, two, and one. Y observe, voy con su presentación. What did you do on the weekend? ¿Qué hiciste el fin de semana? Y voy a, comenzarlos con lo, voy a comenzar con los que no participaron en la primera dinámica. What do you do over the weekend or what do you do on the weekend? Estas son posibles respuestas que usted puede dar. Recuerde que cuando yo le hago preguntas así, usted puede inventar. No tiene, dicha yo no hice nada. Pues inventa que fuiste a Miami el sábado y te regresaste el domingo en la noche. Yo lo que quiero es que usted hable inglés. No necesariamente me tiene que decir exactamente lo que ha hecho. Una opción puede ser, y es la más común, I went. I went. Yo fui. Yo fui a dónde? I went to the beach. I went to the movies. O I went to the cinema. O I went on a picnic. Take food and eat outdoors. Cuando yo, este, como fuera, ¿verdad? Y también puedo decir, I had, yo tuve. Acuérdense que me tienen que hablar en pasado. I had a party. Yo tuve una fiesta. I have some friends over. O sea, tuve algunos invitados en mi casa. I have some friends over to my house. O puede decir, I had a barbecue. Por ejemplo, en el caso, comencemos, le estoy dando tiempo para que se prepare. Por eso estoy haciendo este ejercicio ahorita. Por ejemplo, yo digo, por si no hizo la tarea, pues de aquí la puede copiar también. Dice, I went to the beach. Yo fui a la playa. Y ahí usted le empieza a agregar. I went to the beach with my family and my dog. My family and I went to the ocean because we like to swim. We swam all day. Nosotros nadamos todo el día. We had, in the beach, we had a barbecue. En la playa tuvimos una barbacoa. My mom cooked chicken with rice and vegetables. Mi mamá cocinó pollo con arroz y vegetales. Entonces, usted ahí en este caso va sacando sus conclusiones. Voy con el siguiente ejemplo. Perdón, van a escuchar al señor del pan al fondo. Perdón, no puedo pagar esto ahorita porque les estoy dando una explicación. What did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hiciste el fin de semana pasado? También se puede preguntar de esa manera. No solo preguntar, what did you do on the weekend? También puedo preguntar, what did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hiciste el fin de semana pasado? Y si usted observa aquí, past tense. Y tengo todos los verbos en pasado. Watch, cook, went, played, studied, did. 
I, yo le pregunto a usted, what do you do last weekend? Usted me dice, I watch television with my brothers. We watch Netflix because I like uh, comedy movies. Uh, my mom cook a meal. Mi mamá preparó o cocinó una comida. My mom cook a meal. For example, he cook uh, vegetables, meat, and she prepared, ella preparó, she prepared apple juice. Jugo de manzana, por ejemplo. No, teacher, in my case, I went to the movies with my sister because we like to spend time, porque nos gusta pasar tiempo, we like to spend time together. I played sports. For example, teacher, I play sports and I, pra I was practicing uh, basketball and jogging. No, teacher, in my case, I study English because I had a text on Saturday. No, teacher, in my case, I study English because I had an exam on Saturday. And the last one, I did aerobics. No, teacher, I did aerobics. So, it's just to put the subject, the verb in place, and a complement. Antes de pasar a su evaluación, vamos a ver un video para que usted igual tenga más ideas de cómo usted va a participar ahorita. Por favor, pay attention to the video. ¿Se escucha bien el audio? No. No, ¿verdad? Ajá, porque yo lo estoy escuchando acá con el otro teléfono. Permítanme. Vamos a ver ahora. Yo no escucho no, nada. No, el audio no se escucha. Ok, se lo voy a leer yo entonces. Ok, se lo voy a leer yo entonces. Good morning, Jolie, John. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine too. And you? I'm fine. What did you do last weekend, Jolie? I stayed at home all day. Why didn't you go out for a while? ¿Por qué no saliste? Because I had a headache. Porque tuve un dolor de cabeza. I stayed in bed until 9.30 last Sunday. Y me quedé en cama hasta las nueve y media el pasado domingo. After that, I ate bread. Then I'll look some medicines. In the afternoon, I felt better. Me sentí mejor, but I didn't want to go out. It's great to hear that you became better. So what do you do in last Sunday afternoon? I read some books. Yo leí algunos libros. Then, luego, I watered my flowers and Fed my animals. Regué las plantas y alimenté a mis animales. After that, después de eso, I helped my mom to cook dinner. Then, luego, I took a hot bath and had a dinner with my family early. Then, I went to bed soon. What about you? What did you do last weekend? Well, I went shopping with my mother. I will have a cousin's, my cousin's wedding party next Thursday. So I went shopping to choose a dress and a pair of shoes. 
Did you buy anything, Anna? I tried many dresses and shoes. Finally, I chose a pink dress and black shoes. Great. I wish you have a wonderful party next Thursday. What about John? What did you do last weekend? Well, I visit my grandparents in the village. Who did you go with? Con quien fuiste? I went with my mother and my younger sister. How did you go? Como fuiste? We went by bus. My grandparents' house is near, is near a bus stop. It is very convenient, isn't it? So, what do you do, John? In the morning, I went fishing at the lake near my grandparents' house. How do you feel? ¿Cómo te sentiste? It was so fun. I caught a lot of fishes. Atrapé muchos. Pieces. Then I brought to my grandparents' house and had lunch with those fishes. It was very delicious. What do you do in the afternoon? ¿Y qué hiciste en la tarde? In the afternoon, I flew kites with my younger sister and the children there, here. <laughs> Wow, it seemed exciting. I love flying the kite too. Yes, I enjoy that time very much. We also took many photos to say that moment. So what time did you come back to your home? ¿A qué hora regresaron? We came back late in the afternoon, around 6.20 p.m. Then I had dinner and did homework. I wish to go fishing and fly kites with you next time. Yes, you are always welcome, Anna Jolie. Okay. Hoy sí. Permítanme, voy a cerrar acá. Vamos a cerrar acá y vamos acá. Okay, what did you do on weekend? Please, any volunteers, pero de preferencia alguien que no haya participado en la dinámica primera. Yo. Yo. Okay, no sé quién dijo yo el nombre. Crisia. Okay, Crisia, please, Crisia, go ahead. Okay, we went shopping. To eat as a family. Watch the movie in Netflix. House cleaning. Sunday morning, go to church. And in the afternoon, sleeping. Okay. Ahora bien, te entendí todo lo que me dijiste, solo que me lo dijiste en, en algunos me lo dijiste en tiempo presente y otros me lo dijiste en presente continuo. Repetime okay. otra vez, repetime otra vez, pero y haciendo pausas. Ok. okay. We went shopping. Ok, muy, eso está bien. Nosotros fuimos de compra. To eat a, as a family. To eat. To eat. To... De comer. Ok, we, to... went, we went shopping. No, we went shopping. O we went Ajá. shopping, nosotros fuimos de compras. De compra. And we ate. Pero we es ate. que las he, la, la he hecho así como en oraciones. Quizás por eso no. Sí, no porque como... no, te, tenía, no tenía que hacer oraciones, sino que tenías que decirme, vaya, el sábado yo fui de, eh, yo fui de shopping y comimos y bailamos y desayunamos y dormimos. O sea, pero en, todo tiene que ser en pasado, todo en pasado. O sea, por, va. Sigamos, sigamos. Vale, Solo vale, que me quedó vale. la duda de la de tu it. Vale. It as a family. Ok. 
Si yo traduzco literalmente eat a family, estoy diciendo comiendo a mi familia. Y tú, yo, yo sé que me quieres decir, yo comí con mi familia, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cuál es el pasado? ¿Cuál es el pasado de eat? Eight. Eight. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? Mi familia y yo comimos. My family uh, and I. Ajá. Eight. Eight. ¿Y qué comieron? Eh, inventa, inventa. Ok. Eh, pizza. Eh, hamburger. Ahora bien, decime, uh -huh. mi familia y yo, ahora decime desde el inicio, pero me vas a agregar, mi familia y yo comimos pizza y hamburguesa desde el inicio. Uh -huh. Bye. Ok. My family and I ate eh, pizza en hamburger. En hamburger, ok, continue. En watch the movie in the Netflix. Stop. And then, y luego, and then, we watch. And, and, pero te voy a dar el ejemplo, escúchame primero. Va, and okay. then, and then, we watch movies on Netflix. And then, y luego, we watch and, and movies then, on Netflix. Watch the movie on Netflix. Watch the movies. No, watch movies. Watch, Solo así. Watch movies. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces sería, and then, watch movies on Netflix. And then, we, nosotros, we watch. We, we watch. Ajá. Uh -huh. Movies. On Netflix. Muy bien, continue. En house cleaning. En? En house cleaning. Limpiamos la casa. ¿Quiénes limpiamos la casa? ¿Quiénes limpiaron la casa? We, el, la familia. The family. Entonces, entonces, ¿cómo sería? Mi familia y yo. My, my family and I. Limpiamos. Cleaning. No. In the house. Cleaning no. es presente progresivo. Me le está poniendo ING. Limpiamos. Uh, okay. ¿Cuál sería el pasado de clean? Cleaned. Solo, solo la ED, clean. ¿verdad? Cleaned. Uh -huh. Ahora clean. bien, mi familia y yo limpiamos la casa. Ok, entonces sería my family and I clean in the house. ¿Limpiamos en la casa o limpiamos la casa? Limpia, limpiamos la casa. Entonces, my family and I clean the house. The house. Ok, okay. continue. Sunday, eh, en, ¿cómo, ¿cómo digo? Y luego. En, and then. And, and then, then. And then. And then. Sunday morning go, go to church. Stop. En, en, uh -huh. en then, luego o puede, el domingo, ¿Cómo sí, podría decir? Y luego el domingo en la mañana fuimos a la iglesia. Ok, listen. En then, my family and, then, and I. My family and my. Ok, el presente es go, ¿verdad? Ir. Pero uh -huh. ¿cuál, sería, ¿cuál sería el pasado de go? Go. go no. No. Went. Went. Mi familia y yo fuimos. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería mi familia y yo fuimos? My family and I. My, my family, my family and I went. Uh, went to church. To the church. To the church. Ahora bien, escúchame esa parte. Uh -huh. Mi familia y yo fuimos a la iglesia el domingo en la mañana. Escúchame a mí primero. Uh -huh. My family and I. Went to the church on Sunday morning. Ahora dilo tú. Okay. My family my, and I, I. Okay. My family and I. Went. Went to the church on Sunday morning. morning. Muy bien. Continue. And, uh, and then. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon. Afternoon sleeping. Ah. Es, bueno, como dormimos, lo hice en, 
en pasado, en, en presente en, progresivo. En presente ¿Cómo progresivo? sería y luego dormimos? Y luego, en, 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 eh, en, en then sleep. En then we slept. We slept. En slept. Si vas a terminar, o oh, si vas a terminar ya de explicar lo tuyo, puedes decir, finally y finalmente, we uh -huh. slept. Nosotros nos dormimos. Así. Ok. Ok, hay que, pulir, hay que pulir eso un poquito, hay que pulir sí. eso un poquito. Sí, porque okay. lo que pasó es que lo hice como en forma de oraciones. No, tiene que, te, te, tienen uh -huh. ustedes no, que explicarme. Como una ¿Tiene, sí. Tienen ustedes que explicarme su journey, o sea, el, qué hicieron su horario, qué hicieron el fin de semana. Pero ahí vamos paso yeah, a paso. Uh, ok. Thank sí, you, Cristian. Can you please Gracias. choose one student, pero alguien que no haya participado, Cristian. Choose one student. Ok, A ahorita veo. No sé si Noemí. ¿Sí? Noemí, sí. please. Sí. Yes. Ok, go ahead, Noemí. Thank you, Cristian. Gracias, ok. Ok, Noemí, please, go ahead. Um, in my weekend, I was in my house. The Saturday, Michael, breakfast, cookies and coffee. And then, uh -huh. watch television. With my daughter. Uh -huh. uh, we, we had lunch, chicken and rice. Uh -huh. and, and then we played with my pets. Okay. Uh, we had dinner, pupus on the Sunday. We went to the church. Okay. Um, and then we passed in my house and we rested. Finish. Ok, perfecto. Muy bien, Noemí. En lo único que se equivocó es en la pronunciación de los verbos en pasado. Um, uno, ajá, eso me cuesta. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Dígame solo los verbos en pasado, uno por uno, pero haga pausa y yo le voy a ir diciendo cómo se pronuncia. Vamos. Ah, todo, todo lo que dije. No, solo los verbos en pasado. Ah, um, Make it. Ok, se dice... Ah. Solo que en este caso, el pasado es made. Make es presente. Made. I make, lo um, but... hago. Pero el pasado, made. 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 Vamos made. con el siguiente. Uh, eh, quiero ver. Play, play, play. Played. No, no es played. Es played. 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 Ok. Played. Siga. Played. Um, Luego decía, um, excuse me, eh, 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 cuando dije we passed, o sea, ah, pasamos in my house. We stayed, we stayed at home, we stay at home, o sea, nos quedamos en la casa, we stayed, we stayed at home. We stayed at home. Porque si y el utiliza, último es... Yes, porque si usted utiliza pass, es cuando yo digo, I passed the exam. Yo pasé el examen. Entonces, ahí el verbo no uh -huh. cabe. Ahí uh -huh. tiene que ser stayed. Me uh -huh. quedé. Es I stayed at home. Stay. Ok, vamos con el último. Um, Ajá, the last one. Rest, eh, ah, descansar. descansar. I rest. Con, con una tema fuerte. I rest. I rest. Eh, rested. We rested. No es rested. No, rest. no es rested. Es rest. 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 Exacto. Rest. Ok. Thank rest. you, Noemi. Lo único que tenemos que rest. mejorar es eso. La pronunciación de los verbos en pasado. Lo único. De ahí se le entendió sí. absolutamente todo. Thank you, Noemi. Escojamos un alumno que no haya participado. Bye. Eh, mm, ver. Mm. I have Carlos. Eh, Verónica. Okay, Verónica. Um, Saturday. Um, Sales. 
periódicos, vender, vender sería. Ah, yeah. Ok, ojo, ojo, Verónica, vamos a hacer algo. Usted diga su presentación y después yo le digo en qué se equivocó. Ahorita no me pregunte, solo dígame su presentación y después juntas nos corregimos, ¿ok? Saturday morning, morning sell periódicos, um, afternoon shopping supermarket, uh, eh, supermarket rice, vegetables, Fruit, uh -huh. meat, chicken, and fish. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sunday, I want to crunch in the, in the morning. Um, afternoon, douche, my dog. Finish. Okay. Finish. Ahora, desde el inicio, pero hágame, váyame haciendo pausas. Saturday. Morning, sal, sal, periódicos. Ok. Yo vendí periódicos el sábado. Se dice, I sold. Yo quiero la, todo en pasado. I sold. El pasado de vender, o sea, vender es sell, pero el pasado es sold. I sold, sold newspaper on Saturday. Yo vendí periódicos el sábado. I sold newspaper I sold. on Saturday. Okay. I, I sold new paper Saturday. On Saturday. Muy bien. Next, okay. continuemos. So, afternoon. En la tarde, afternoon. In the afternoon. Shopping. Shopping. Supermarket. Stop. In the afternoon, I did. I did. I did shop. O sea, yo compré. In the supermarket. O In también puedo decir, yo hice, yo, uh, yo hice el mercado. I, I did shop. O también yo puedo decir, yo compré. O sea, yo compré. I shop. O sea, yo hice las compras. I shopped in the supermarket. Continue. I shop, I shop in the supermarket. Okay, continue. Rice, vegetable, fruit, meat, chicken, and fish. Okay, I bought, yo compré, I bought, y ahí dice, I bought rice, vegetables, chicken, meat, etcétera, etcétera. I bought, yo compré. Ah, para, los ah, que nos, para los que nos están escuchando, ponga atención en los detallitos que yo le estoy diciendo a todos en las correcciones, porque la mayoría tiene esas mismas, esos mismos errores. Tenemos problemas, ya me fijé que tenemos problemas con los vermos en pasado. Creo que no voy a poder pasar de ese tema. Creo que mañana voy a volver a hacer lo mismo porque veo que tenemos problemas con los verbos en pasado. Yo compré, yo jugué, yo fui, yo visité. Ok, continuemos, Vero, porque ya no me alcanzó el tiempo. Ya no pude revisar la tarea juntos. Ok, continuemos, Vero. Sunday, I went to Cruz. In the, in the morning. ¿Qué es crush? In the morning. ¿Qué es crush? Eh, iglesia. Church. Church, perdón. Church. church. Repítame la oración, pero no diga crush, diga church. I went to church in the morning. Ok, muy bien, eso sí. On Sunday, I went to the church in the morning. Muy bien. Ahí terminaríamos. Afternoon. Dush, my dog. ¿Qué es dush? Duchar a, al perrito. In the afternoon. Bañarlo. In the afternoon. In the my, afternoon. My dog. In the afternoon. My dog. My dog. My dog took. Took. A bath. In the afternoon, my dog. Took In the afternoon, I do my dad. Ok, ojo, esto lo voy a decir para todos. 
cuando yo lo esté corrigiendo a usted, espérese que yo termine de decir la oración. No se meta al mismo tiempo, porque si no, entonces no va a poder entender o, o más que todo, eh, quizás decir, escuchar la pronunciación. Mi perro tomó un baño. My dog took a bath. Repitamos, Vero. My dog took my... Perdón, ¿me podría repetir, por favor? Claro, por supuesto. My dog took a bath. My dog took a bath. Muy bien, gracias, Vero. Ahí vamos. Tenemos que ponernos las pilas todos, por favor, con los verbos en pasado. Voy a escoger el último alumno. Vero, ¿me ayuda a escoger el último estudiante, por favor? The last one, please, Vero. Crisia. Ok, Crisia, ella ya participó, fue la primera. Pero, ella ya um, participó, fue la primera. Uh, Rosemary. Rosemary. Perdón, 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 aquí estoy ya, aquí estoy ya. Perdón, hablando sola estaba. Ok, Carlos, are you ready, Carlos? Yes. Ok, and then Harris. And then Harris. Ok, Carlos, please, go ahead. So, out the weekend, I went the Christmas tree in the Sable of the world and what else um i, I went to the supermarket and buy it for the two week and also i studied um uh, to be able to prepare for the don bosco university interview um i don't remember ah, i went to the gym but it's rare that it go on the weekend because always on weekdays and I remember. Okay, that's it? Uh, no, 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 I played yeah. the tournament, the Call of Duty Warzone by the points they will by send the following week. Okay, Finish. perfect. So, something else? Mm, nada más. Okay, thank you. No, perfect. Thank you, Carlos. And the last one, Harris, please go ahead. Gran Cantero, que ha este. <laughs> And the last one, please, Harris. The weekend I went to my grandmother's house. I had not seen her in a long time. I was with her all day on AMP. I had a lot of fun. I also went with my family to the park play the soccer with my brother and my dad. I also ate, at, ate pizza and drank soda. Also, I went to the church with my family. Okay, thank you, perfect. Muy bien, Harris. Algún otro voluntario que no haya participado? Me queda todavía dos minutos. Tuvo, eh, can I have two more volunteers? For example, let me see. Katie, are you ready? 
Dani, are you ready? Teacher Doris or Sophie? Yeah, I, I... Okay, please go ahead, Sophie. Friday, I went to Vigil and later I went my own house and I made two cakes and many cupcakes for my, for my family. And finally, I planted a plant in my house. Okay, muy bien, excelente. Thank you, Sophie. Next. Si no los corrijo es porque no tienen errores. Next. One more volunteer, o lo escojo yo. Fine. The teacher. Four. Okay, Katie, go ahead. Okay. ¿Puedo leerlo? Es que lo escribí. Yes, of course. Of course you can. Okay. Um, this weekend I was with my parents. We had uh -huh. a movie marathon. We uh, we had popcorn and pizza. And okay. I fell asleep. The next day we were up got up and visited uh -huh. my aunt and my cousin. My aunt had cook cook. Ross, uh -huh. Ross, beef and vegetable. We and vegetable, vegetable. We ate no. See, we yes, ate, perfect. We ate together and say goodbye to so buy um ice cream and that is for I am my weekend. I finish. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Katie. Muy bien. Ok, hasta acá me quedo eh, por el tiempo y porque igual también ya, ya mi batería ya está muriendo. Chicos, me preocupa un poquito que nos cuesta todavía hablar en pasado. Yo le voy a dejar eh, igual, yo que me urgía revisar la tarea de este día, ya que necesitamos avanzar un poco. Miren, lo que vamos a hacer son dos cosas. Necesito que por favor se vaya a la página 38, donde dice Sir Isaac Newton. Necesito, por favor, que trabajemos esa página porque siempre son cosas en pasado. Necesito que trabaje esa página y mañana, al inicio de la clase, lo primero que yo voy a hacer es eh, dialogar con usted la página 37 y dialogar con usted la página 38. Hagamos, esa, hagamos la paginita 38, por favor, el día de ahora. Y mañana sigo siempre con los verbos en pasado. Pero me interesa mucho que usted hable en pasado. ¿Qué hice? Entonces, prepárese una presentación chiquitita. ¿Qué hizo usted? O sea, me va a decir, ya no le voy a decir yo, what do you do on weekend? Ahora le voy a decir, what do you do on Tuesday? ¿Qué hiciste el martes? Entonces, ojo, invente. Diga que fue a Miami y regresó. Diga que conoció a Will Smith. Diga que fue a almorzar con Will Smith. Y diga que compraron un carro. O sea, invente. No me tiene que decir exactamente su vida, ¿verdad? Entonces, prepárese una presentación chiquitita. No quiero oraciones. Quiero un parrafito donde usted me diga, el jueves yo hice esto, 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 esto. Y voy con la misma dinámica de describir las fotos también. Voy con la dinámica de revisar las páginas al inicio de la clase. Y voy con la dinámica que usted me tiene que decir qué hizo el martes, o sea, hoy. Invente, por favor. Y nos preparamos para mañana. Gracias a todos. Pasen una feliz tarde. Váyase allá a echar el cafecito que ya lo necesitamos. Feliz día y adiós. Bye. Yo tengo una pregunta. Yes, Franklin. Y con lo de lo de eso que estamos haciendo ahora, lo del pasado, de que hicimos el fin de semana, que ya no, ya no lo hacemos ni nada ya. Eh, ya lo hiciste, vea. Sí. Si me queda chance, lo revisamos mañana. En tu caso que no lo has hecho, me acordás. Pero sería bueno que practicaras también qué hiciste el martes. Porque ah, si sí es necesario, si sí es necesario. Perfecto. Este, quiero ver si solamente eso. Gracias a todos, se cuidan. Nos vemos el día de mañana a las 3 en punto. Bye.